Okay, this is pertains to the Mercedes M112 V6 and M113 V8 engines. Um, the reason I'm doing this is uh, my fuel economy went down a little bit lately and uh, could be just because of winter gas. And I've been noticing about a liter loss of oil every probably 3,000 kilometers. And one of the uh, things that the, uh, the dealership, the dealership, uh, the manufacturer, Mercedes, released a few maybe 10 years ago um, was a uh, technical service bulletin saying that the intake gasket, there's a little round rubber gasket that goes between the intake tube and the throttle body in the back, uh, that changing that could cause, um, or if that gets worn out or leaks a little bit, could cause excessive oil consumption. And it is going to cause excess fuel consumption because you're going to get an unmetered air going past. If it leaks a little bit, you're going to get unmetered air going past the uh, the seal there, and it's not going through the MAF. So your uh, O2 sensor is going to get a little bit of an odd reading. It's going to richen up the mixture. You're going to use more gas. So I'm going to change that today. It's pretty, pretty simple. Uh, it's just one little trick to actually do it, which is there's a little clip on the bottom of the back underneath. I'll show you that in a minute. The first thing we're going to do is take off the engine cover, and I'll be back in a second. You know how to do that. Just pull it up. There's four little clips to pop up. I might as well do it while you're watching. Hold on a second. This back corner with the long, with this long clip is the hardest one to just be careful, maneuver that one out because you can break it. Person before me broke that one. I had to, I had to fix that. So some mechanic along the line with the original owner had broken that and just left it sitting there. So I had to glue it back on. Anyway, just pops up and off. Then you're going to remove the baffle box. Uh, this is just kind of a, a baffle. It makes the intake air, as far as I know, it makes the intake air just a little less noisy. It pops up and then pulls out. See, there's two little feet there, two little round sockets. They go on these two. There's a round peg there and there that those pop onto. When you put it back on, you just pop it in and then rotate it down onto those. Sorry, it's freezing out today, so I might be sniffling a little bit. So I've got to get, uh, got to get a screwdriver. I will be back in one minute. Okay, two things you're going to have to remove. You're going to have to remove the with a flathead screwdriver, screwdriver, this clamp right here, loosen this clamp up, which I've already done. And then right behind the transmission dipstick here, see there's a bolt right there. I'm trying to get some light on it. And that is an E10 Torx, which is the reverse Torx, like the star-shaped. Now you can use an eight millimeter regular socket, which is what I'm going to do to show you that it can be done. I don't recommend it on most bolts, but in a pinch, if you don't have an E10, you can use an 8mm socket will fit on an E10. the E10 Torx bolt. Again, it's an E10 or an 8mm. 
and with smaller bolts like this uh, I don't like doing it but it can you can usually get it off with a uh, with a regular headed socket just be very careful that you get the exact right one on there any slippage is going to ruin the, the little teeth on it and uh, make it hard to get out so if you do have a Mercedes an M12 or M113 or anything newer than that which is going to be 1997 or newer get yourself an e-torx socket set and uh, also a Torx socket set uh, Torx bits uh, like the screwdriver bits because there's tons of them on these engines most of the most of the bolts and nuts are going to be uh, e-torx or uh, or Torx Anyway, I've got those two off. I'm going to reposition the camera so I can show you the rest. And we're just going to pull this intake off back in a second. Okay, this is a tough spot to try and get into to show you. You're basically following the intake down. Uh, release it from the, the bellows from where it hooks to the MAF sensor there. You can take this whole MAF sensor off. Actually, you know what I'm going to do just to get this out of the way? I'm going to pop the two clips. The two clips that hold the air cleaner on. Slide that out and move the whole map sensor out of the way. Okay, so the map sensor is now not in the picture and is kind of out of the way. It might help you a little bit. Let's just reposition this thing, hopefully. Now you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing. It's going to be impossible to show you, but I will show you the once you know how to do it, once you can reach around and you know where the clip is, it's simple. I'm just pulling up, reaching down, and there's a little clip at the bottom where it hooks into the MAF. Where is it? And I'm pulling down and back on it, and that releases it. And now this front clip, which is the one that usually stymies everyone, can pop out. Hold on a second. that a little bit. There's a front zigzaggy clip after you get the bottom one off. This one just pops right out. Come on. Okay. All right, so you can see that that is loosened in a way and I just have to take off the one There's an air hose at the back here that goes from the top of the uh, the breather here. See this breather that goes on top of the driver's side cylinder head or valve cover. This air hose that goes down to there, I'm gonna have to release that. So I'll pop that whole thing off. This, this little hose I have to pop off. And as you can see, there's no way to get down there to film this. So I'll pop that off and show you in a second when I pull the whole thing out what it looks like. Okay, on mine, actually, the top hose here was easier to remove than getting down on the back and getting uh, the other one off. It was just a little more flexible up here. Um, it's cold out, too, so the rubber could be a little bit colder. I did start the car and warm it up for about two or three minutes to get the rubber a little bit more pliable, but uh, it probably just didn't work enough. Better to do this if it's warm out anyway. And working with rubber stuff is always better when it's warm. But anyway, that's off, and I can just pull this intake out. everything kind of a little bit of a Jenga thing and there's the hose see where it curls down and goes on to there and it just was not easy to get that part off the top part was much easier to remove I'm gonna clean this up because it's gonna have oil in there but the seal oops, I'm looking for is right here there should be a rubber Wow that's really really solidified oops sorry blocking off a little bit right there this rubber seal on the end now this can be two sizes it can be i think 93 or 96 or 93 millimeters i can't remember i'll show i've got the i got both because uh, i didn't feel like taking this off measuring and then going to the dealership this is really crispy it's not going to seal very well 
but I got both uh, my cameras running out of battery, so I'm going to charge this up a little bit. I'm not going to move any further from here, but I'll, uh, I'll show you everything in a few minutes. Okay, so here's the two gaskets ordered. This was the bigger one. There's the part number on the bigger one. It was 92 millimeters across. Oops. Uh, across. 92 millimeters across there. That's where you measure it. And the, mine was the smaller one, which is this number. This part number, which is 90 millimeters across. So here's the new one. Listen to this hit the metal. <laughs> and here's the old one. <laughs> it's crispy. Um, anyway, from the side, you see how wide that one is? I'll put the other one beside it. See how much deeper it is with the little grooves in it? It does, it's, it's a better seal. So this is the original one. So on my car, your car could be different. If you want to order both, that's the two numbers for both, and then just figure it out. Or if you want to do the job twice, pull it out, measure. Uh, they're like, uh, I think these were 10 bucks a piece plus tax, uh, that's Canadian, so if you're somewhere else, it may be a lot better deal. And all you're gonna do is put this new gasket in once you've cleaned everything out, and pop it in. See, there's little slots to hold it in. It's got four little tabs on it, or five little tabs along, four. And they just pop in there, and then you just throw the thing back on and hook it up in the reverse of how we pulled it off. And while we're down there, we're gonna clean the throttle body out, and now, I can't get down there to show you this, but I can show you by camera. Let's see if we can show you the inside of the throttle body. That's pretty hard to see. But I'm cleaning all that off down there as well because this is the oil breather. This takes the oil vapors up out of the crankcase and sucks them down. Well, they come out of the crankcase up into the valve cover and then go through that hose and then get sucked back down through here. And make sure there's no cracks or anything in these pipes. You want to make sure they're nice and pliable still. I Probably this summer we'll replace these. Um, they're not bad. I'm not in a super... I'm in Canada, so it's... You know, we're not baking hot. If you're in an area that's baking hot all year long, uh, South Texas, Florida, Southern States, uh, uh, the Middle East somewhere where it's really, really hot, these... The, the rubber will go brittle and go bad quicker. Um, in the northern areas, it's not that bad. Oh, and this is the clip that I was telling you about on the bottom. So you see, this is the way it goes in. See, here's that top clip. And there's the front, so you follow it along. And see this clip, when I reached under, see it's got this big tab on the bottom. All I did was pull this tab down. Sorry, you get your finger under there and pull that tab down. And that locks it on. This has to come, the bottom one here, this has to pop off first and all it is to pop it off is pull that tab down and when you're putting it back on so you have to pull this bottom part this tab comes first and it rotates away from the engine and then this top part pops out you can't do this one and then pull it out it's not this one this one does not hold it in this just locates it that bottom one is the one that holds it in so when you put it back in you'll put this top in and then rotate it down and clamp that on so i have Again, I've only been charging this camera again for another 5-10 minutes, so it doesn't have a lot of life left in it. So again, we're going to clean everything with... Uh, I, I'm using seafoam to clean my, uh, my throttle body down there and everything else off. I'm cleaning them all off, getting all the grease and crap out. going to put the seal back on, put it back on, and should be good to go. I don't think there's anything else to actually cover here except putting this back on. Um, just make note, when you're putting... Yeah, it depends on the way you just take a look at everything that, that came off the way it came on i'm just trying to explain this hose when it comes back it's going to come under here it's going to come underneath and into there it's not it doesn't go across so it's kind of a little fidgety to, to fidget it in there but it's not a big deal um yeah and biggest thing is measure your two and i can't believe how crispy this old one is measure the measure and see which side your ring is or like i did buy two buy both buy both sizes and uh you know make sure the one is uh you've got the right you've got the right one it's only going to be one of two so that's it that's all it could be and again part number this is for the smaller one the 90 millimeter and that's the part number for the 92 93 millimeter
Anyway, if you uh, if you measure them, your dealership will know which one's which. But again, that's the part number. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to put this all back together, and we should be good. I don't think there's anything left to show you. Um, as usual, <laughs> ask questions. I answer everything that I possibly can in the comments section. Um, thumbs up if it helps you. <laughs> thumbs down if it doesn't, and if it doesn't, please tell me why. Thanks for watching.